This is a 2024 Adam 2 Plus 2. This 2 Plus 2 is a Trailer Country original. Um, this is a trailer we've perfected with Adam Trailers and we are really proud of it. And today I'm gonna show you this brand new 2024. The trailer is seven foot wide, eight foot tall, and 26 feet on the floor. That's a five foot dressing room and a 21 foot horse area. It has full length running boards. We also upgraded the extruded siding and the top rail on the trailer to be polished. Um, it just absorbs less stains and holds up a little better over time than the milled aluminum. We have upgraded the dressing room door here to be a Dalton door. So that house door is made in house at Adam Trailers versus a camper style door. Um, we have four saddle racks. That whole post is removable. You can move the saddle racks up and down if you need some more space in between, above or below those, they are adjustable. We've got a row of bridle hooks here and a walkthrough door from the horse area to the dressing room. If you haven't been inside of an Adam Trailer, the nose is enormous. There is so much room. I should measure these one day and see exactly how much room there is, but there's no army crawling going on in this nose. There's a ton of space here. Anybody can probably almost stand up. I'm 5'4", and I bet I can just about stand up in that space. We have insulated the entire ceiling of this trailer, so the walls in the dressing room are not lined. The walls in the horse area are, but the ceiling is lined and insulated. I'll show you the outside of this upgraded Dalton door here just a little nicer door than your typical camper style door. They're made in house at Adam. They're welded up, have these nice hinges with the grease certs. Super nice quality door to go with that super nice quality trailer. I'll show you that under the nose real quick also. Um, I expect the pressure washer to pick up any minute and then it's gonna get loud around here. So I'll try to move a little fast. We have a full size spare on this particular trailer. That is an ST23585 R16. So a 16 inch steel wheel. This tire and wheel does match the tire and wheel on the trailer. We have a gravity fed water tank, a Bigfoot hydraulic jack, and in that there box is uh, a deep cycle marine battery to operate your jack. It'll also operate the lights and the fans when you're not connected to your tow vehicle. We've got tons of ventilation in this trailer, so many windows, tons of roof vents. We've got four pop-up roof vents, three drop-down windows, one on this side and one on the other side. This 60 inch wide side ramp with the top doors with sliding windows. This is sort of the signature of this trailer is that it is a two plus two. So it's not a head to head, it doesn't have a center aisle, it's more of a nose to nose. So your front horses are gonna come in through this nice wide 60 inch side ramp. We have a telescoping divider here. So that divider will come almost completely out of that side ramp. I wanna show you how far out of the way that is. So in your front, we have 11 feet from nose to tail. It's a seven foot breast of butt bar and a four foot headroom there to accommodate the escape door and those swinging gates between the horses. Technically from breast bar to butt bar, there is seven feet in this trailer. In a normal head to head, you're gonna have quite a bit more footage there because um, you don't want those horses to be able to touch and you typically would have a center aisle in your head to head. So in this trailer, um, it is four feet of headroom on your front stalls, three feet on your back stalls. All your dividers are removable, so you can have two box stalls, an 11 foot and a 10 foot. But here on your front stall, you're gonna load this first horse. He's gonna come in through the side ramp, turn towards this breast bar, head over. You can very easily swing this telescoping divider around, latch it back into place, and your street side horse in the front is latched in. Doing this while holding my phone and doing it with my non-dominant hand that of course works a little better than i've just done it then you're going to want to load your smallest most well-behaved horse here a real size horse that fits in here i've seen many of my customers with this trailer out and about and they have no problem getting a real size horse in here you can even take this breast bar down if you need a little bit more space to get them straight then back them up a bit we have a bar that goes here across this ramp so once this horse is in this bar can be put into place. It's held in place right now by a plunger. I'm not gonna make you watch me try to undo that with my non-dominant hand while holding this telephone. Um, we've got fans here in the front box, two pop-up roof vents at the butt of these rear-facing horses, so that's pulling the air all the way across those horses. We've got a sliding window with this horse's head, and on the far side, we're gonna have a drop-down window. Nice hip side window there. Again, I'm not gonna try to make you watch me put these ramps up and things with my non-dominant hand because I have a bad shoulder. 
We've got a load light here above our side ramp, drop down window, those 16 inch wheels. Again, full length running boards on this trailer, polished extrusion and polished top rail. Eight foot tall, seven foot wide, 26 foot on the floor. Your rear stall is a normal stall here. I didn't show you how these swing gates work, but just like your typical two plus one, we just have a swing gate here at the horse heads. Yes, it does go toward that rear horse. They can move their head just a little bit. It's not a big deal. There's four feet of space there. The door is three and a half feet wide, not quite three and a half feet wide, more like three feet wide. Those horses will back their little heads up um, out of the way, move them to the side. It really does work very, very well to, to accommodate four horses in here. If you've got four horses coming on and off all day, like you're at a local show and you're gonna be taking this one off and then taking that one off, I'm not gonna tell you it's as easy as having a four horse head to head with a center aisle, but there are certainly some properties that you can get into easier. Uh, we got a load light here. I think my pressure washer's getting ready to start up, so I'm gonna hustle along. Load light on the back. Rear ramp with top curtains with sliding windows. There is a drop down window at your rear horse facing forward that's going to be on both sides and then on our full size escape door we also have a drop down window led lights everywhere inside outside load lights running lights um, everything's going to be an led light on your fenders you've got led lights there amber in the front red in the back full length running board again this is a 2024 atom two plus two available at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. This is a trailer we've worked really hard to perfect. We're very, very proud of this trailer. Um, we are the original creators of this with the Adam brand. TrailerCountryLLC.com is our website. You can see the specs and the photos of the trailer. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope I've done an adequate job of showing you how those front stalls work. I have seen it in real life. I see my customers at the horse shows. I've seen them using it. I see their pictures. I see their videos. It's a very, very versatile trailer. We originally created it to put two horses in the front and be able to drive your golf cart up the back. Most golf carts are nine feet long. They are not gonna go up the side ramp into this seven foot wide trailer and be able to shut that door. That's why we originally created this trailer. There goes the pressure washer. It's gonna be a little loud, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. 2024 Adam 2 Plus 2, trailercountryllc.com.